This use case, number eight, is about the development of a digital twin for an infusion controller. It operates as a test bench platform for the evaluation of a closed loop delivery system for drug infusion under controlled conditions. The objective is to keep vital signs within a predefined target bound. In values, we are considering the regulation of neuromuscular transmission, also known as the relaxation level of the patient or capacity to make, in order to, to avoid undesired or spasmodic movement that could be risky at surgery time. All these taking into account the applicable safety standards. There are several needs in our domain. One of the most important needs is to be able to simulate the real life conditions in a laboratory environment. The fact that the patient can be simulated makes it possible to be able to test the infusion controller and the varying patient's conditions, such as age, gender, sensitivity to drug, pathologies, etc. In second place, we can use this simulation tool as a working tool for progressive and incremental improvement so that some components, such as the patient's model or the control algorithm, can be upgraded and for each iteration we can obtain the corresponding performance indexes, which are key in the selection of the route towards the best option. The cost and effort of verification and validation can be enormously reduced. Therefore, we are interested in tools and methods that make it easier these stages while reducing the cost, effort and risk associated to the test cases implementation. We have had a great support on the side of values partners. In first place, RGB Medical Devices as the use case coordinator has been uh, providing information about the real needs of the use case, giving support to other partners and developing an industrial concept for the NMT infusion controller, which is compliant to norms. The UT has contributed in values to the Hardware in the loop and software in the loop benchmark platform, and also the patient model with uh, NMT drugs. Also, it has provided a test case manager to analyze the safety of the patient of the system. To this purpose, QR Tech also has contributed in the first year of the project. UCLM, in collaboration with TRC, has worked on the application of knowledge-centric systems engineering solutions for systems artifact quality analysis. Intex, finally, has been dealing with uh, customizing the model-based safety analysis by expand, uh, extending the system model with a fault model as well as relevant portions of the physical systems to be controlled it has been possible to provide automated support for safety analysis. This is all on our side. Thank you very much.